third of the population of the world is in an area that's at risk of being infected with Plasmodium vivax parasites. I think it's always important to really focus on diseases that are really devastating other communities. It's one of the top causes of mortality for children under the age of five. My name is Elisabeth van Seil, but I go by Alzani, and my current area of research is infectious diseases, specifically malaria. The INVENT at Seattle Children's program is really unique in that it allows you to go into a field that's not generally something that you're an expert in, and it allows you to build those skills and become an expert in that field. And it also really brings people together from all over who are really passionate about making therapies for children and really passionate about getting what they're working on out into the market so that it can help more people. Maybe that's changing the biochemistry at the surface somehow. It's the first time that I have lived on this coast, though in the beginning it was really kind of difficult to figure out, am I doing the right thing? Am I supposed to be where I am right now? I've moved so much as a child, I don't really care where I live. But I think with this move, I kind of realized a little more that you kind of need your tribe. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew Natasha had started the same day as me. And so I reached out to her and just wanted to kind of like have a buddy or someone to kind of touch base with. She reached out to me and I suggested getting matcha. I kind of noticed she wasn't really touching her drink. And months later, she told me like, oh, I don't actually like matcha, but she didn't want to scare me away or like not be cool. So um, she hid that for me. <laughs> Natasha's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then she decided to change the labs and I immediately was like, there's a desk open behind me. You should <laughs> come work in the same office as, as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Most postdoc programs, you, you go into a lab and you don't have a program and you're kind of on your own. And so I think you really want a support system, not only a program, but also other people who went through something similar that you can catch up with and other people who have similar ambitions. I am Dr. Natasha Bourgeois and I am an infectious disease researcher. With the research that I'm doing right now, um, we're working on something that would basically stop the next pandemic. I chose Invented SC because I knew that I wanna make an impact and the best way to make an impact is to get a drug to the clinic. I love Seattle. I love the scientific community here. I love the personal community that I have here. And this program, when I found out about it, I just thought it was the perfect fit for what I wanted through the professional development fund that we get with our program, through all the seminars that we get, the research project having a more translational focus. It was all just aligning for me to get that training that I needed and that exposure that I needed to be able to get to that goal of getting a drug to the clinic. We're all very diverse in our backgrounds, in our upbringings, in our research backgrounds even, and that is what the strength of this program is. Diversity of thought is the best way to build the way that you think in the most effective and collaborative way. And you can't do that without community. There's a South African saying that is Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. And so it's really, it's really about the people around you that are really helping you be the best that you can be. My name is Dr. Natasha Bourgeois. My name is Dr. Elzani Fonseil. And we, we are Invent at Seattle Children's Scholars. <laughs>